So off the field issues have dominated the agenda of late at Macclesfield Town. The club managed to avert a player strike last week. This afternoon they travel to Salford, looking to finally focus on the pitch, looking for their first win in six games in all competitions. Salford right now find themselves tucked nicely in mid-table. Graham Alexander's side will want to get back on the winning trail today, though, after defeat to leaders Swindon Town last weekend. Salford in their red and white once again from left to right. Brought down in the midfield, little loose there, and picked up by Fitzpatrick. Feeding Stevens. Fitzpatrick drills a cross a across the face of goal, but it was always rising. Loose from Salford, out from the back. There was Fitzpatrick picking the ball up, just left of centre. Trying to just shape it across the face of goal, got it all wrong though. Morlane hoping for a good result today. They've won only two of their last eight home league matches. Salford delivered into the danger area and flicked on and just over the bar. Bit of a slow tempo to proceedings right now in this action. Can Jervis change that though? Down off the left-hand side, brought down on the edge of the penalty area. And Matt Donoghue, the referee, quick to give a free kick. There's Jervis that stands over it, in fact. The likes of Pond and Cameron Burgess up from the back. A couple of yards in from that far touch line. Jervis into the danger area. Headed just wide, in fact, of Owen Evans' far post. Lost their last couple of away games. No wins in five in all competitions for Daryl McMahon's side. They pick the ball up here with McCourt. Edge of the box, shoots goalwards, and it's a decent save low to his left-hand side by Chris Neal, the goalkeeper. Again, good work by the likes of McCourt in that Macclesfield midfield. Jervis loose in possession, McCourt picked it up, and he was always thinking, how can I shoot goalwards? Decent save by Neal there. A slow tempo to proceedings at times, unfortunately, between these two sides. Good, honest midfield battle. A few of them going at it there. And a little bit of uh, a coming together between Jake McCourt and Danny Whitehead against his former club. The shoving continues. McCourt not happy at all. And the referee, Mr Donoghue, is going to have a decision to make here. A little bit of afters, a little bit of pushing and shoving, a little bit of handbags. Bring a little bit of life to what's been a disappointing League Two affair so far. McCourt asked across, Whitehead as well. And I think both of them are going to go into the book. And the first ever meeting between these two sides. Maybe a bit of a combustible midfield incident. May just uh, light the blue touch paper. Much needed, unfortunately, at this moment in time in Moore Lane. It's been a Competitive battle in there. Whitehead against his former club. He's got a big part of McCourt's shirt there. McCourt not happy at all. And then this is where the afters got involved. And a few, as you'd expect, teammates coming into both of their defences. Forward into Rooney. Now Jervis down the right-hand side. On the right flank. Decent delivery and blocked behind for a corner. Pressure for Salford here. Scored 12 goals from set pieces this season, Salford. Second most in League Two. Can they profit from another one here? Good play down the right-hand side. Jervis involved again. And once again, the likes of Pond and Burgess will no doubt come up from the back. It's going to be the in-swinger. Delivered in towards the six-yard box. Headed away by the Macclesfield defender. Five goalwards again. Brought down by... McGoldrick delivered, decent delivery, and it's just blocked off the line there, I think. A pinball inside the six-yard box. Macclesfield somehow managed to smother it away, and now they've got the break on here up the other end. Mani Osadibi leading the charge for Macclesfield on the counter. McCord up with him. Osadibi goes himself, blocked away off the backside of Nathan Pond. And this game has come to life finally. Little ball looking for Lloyd McGoldrick there, and this time diving at his feet was Owen Evans, the keeper on loan from Wigan. 
finally some incident and goal mouth action. Torre. Darden from his left side. Again, looking for Thomas Asante on this occasion. Drew it away by Macclesfield. Dan Lloyd McGoldrick, he's brought something different since coming on. And it was in the end just diverted away off the goal line. In a week that once again are winding up petitions, dominated the agenda at Macclesfield, off the field. They could do with some reward on it. Well, they get it here, delivered in towards the danger area. Good appetising ball and just no contact in the end. Connor Kirby, the on-low midfielder from Sheffield Wednesday, the closest to it. A really inviting delivery across the face of goal. Nahue in there, Kirby as well, just couldn't quite make the contact needed. Second half a little more open. Certainly a little more entertaining. From a right to left ball, Torre in towards the near post. Blocked away, chance. Lloyd McGoldrick appealing for handball. I don't think he's going to get it. Nathan Cameron, the big bulldozing Macclesfield centre-half with a brave block, taking it, I think, in that painful area. You know which one I'm talking about. Appeals for handball. Falling on faint ears. First, the header by Cameron was good and the block was even braver, even better. Salford finishing the stronger with Lloyd McGoldrick. Been a real handful since coming on. Delivered in towards the danger area. And blocked behind for a corner. And again, a coming together at the far post. Mr Donoghue, the referee's had a busy afternoon. This time, a collision between Pond and a Macclesfield defender. And the referee waves play on. Goal mouth action in this second half. Cameron and Pond coming together, two big forces. Referee just said, pick yourself up and go again. Thurkeld in towards the edge of the box. Little stab ball, and a little wayward, little loose. And it's been that kind of afternoon at Moor Lane as it finishes a point apiece between Salford and Macclesfield. Two sides right now that remain tucked quite comfortably and nicely. In mid-table in Skybet League 2. Chances few and far between. The second half, a far better tempo to it. But in the end, it finished at Moor Lane. Salford City nil. Macclesfield Town nil.